Today, we complete our Inferno quest and we learn about our new titled fame in the region. Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Final Fantasy Online. I'm Clobber Stump. I'm having a great day. I hope you guys are having a really good day. And last episode, we defeated Ifrit and uh, made ourselves through the way of the uh, the Eternal Flames Inferno. And we got out of that. So we're going to finish up the Lord of Inferno deal here uh, right now. So we're... Yeah, we're going to enter the Waking Sands and turn this sucker in. Um, and then we'll kind of continue on from there. I'm really excited about this game. It's so much fun. Oh, there we go. Hi. Ah, the triumphant hero returns. Thancred told us the news upon his arrival. He is presently in the solar, giving a full report to Lady Minfilia. You should join them at once. Lady Minfilia is most eager to see you. Okay, look at that. So we're getting some really good stuff. Um, we're starting to build up our gill here. We've only got about 10,000 gill, but that's way more than we had before. So great stuff. My late arrival nearly cost Nalia her life. I wasn't there when the Amalja, Amalja, I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I remember them saying it, but I'm, I know that I'm probably mispronouncing that. So if I am mispronouncing things, please correct me. I'm happy to learn and try my best to make any corrections if possible uh they the amulja took her prisoner and i wasn't there when they served her to ifrit or ifrit i'm not exactly sure how that one's pronounced either i've always said ifrit since i was a teenager so uh, i don't know if that's the case or not yes by some miracle she survived but does the, uh, that does not excuse the fact that she should never have had to face such dangers alone. I failed her utterly, as I am failing you all. What is, what's done is done, Tancred. Uh, you can ill blame yourself for every... Nalia, it's so good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I just finished regaling Minfilia with your heroic exploits. Thancred told me everything. You've done well to return to us. Damn right. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear, and now we can put paid to our long investigation. As we suspected, the Amulja took, undertook both the robbery and the abductions with the aim of summoning their primal Ifrit. Nor is the detail limited to Ulda. Similar incidents have been rife with in both Limsa Lominsa and Gridania of late. So there's other ones like this. Um, I dare say you... You've been curious as to how these crimes are linked to the primals, permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals may consume aether if they are no to maintain their presence here. And the, strong, the stronger they become, the more aether they require. Now, aether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and pri permeates uh, the very air we that we breathe. Alas, 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 uh, and people say that one a different way. So alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the likes of Ifrit. Nay, he and his kind require more concentrated source of aether crystals. It is for this reason that incidents involving crystals can often be tracked back to a primal, which leaves us to with the why of the abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. With all, when all is well with the world, primals possess no physical form. 
their essence has disappeared or dispersed across the great river of Aether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which a primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together of etheric coalescence which grants the being's physical form. Once born, the primal gains strength from its followers' worship. Uh, the more numerous and fervent, 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 numerous and fervent uh, they are, the more powerful their gods become. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such revenants, uh, as their ad adherents freely give. Uh, in order to gain power, they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, uh, a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yet, even as Ifrit took your comrades in this thrall, you alone remain unaffected. This is thanks to the power of you possess, the Echo. What the hell is the Echo? We know not why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. Oh, so, okay. Uh, it, it is as though a greater power protects us. When first you came to us, I told you that the Echo would be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Uh, I trust you now begin to see why. Well, that makes sense, okay. But what is the Echo? That's what we need to learn. The recent incidents uh, all share a common trait, meticulous planning. Such elaborate designs are a new development and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I share your concern, my presiding feeling is that of relief at your safe return. Ah, the immortal flames assured me that they will deal with the aftermath, so you need not concern yourself with that. May rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Nalia. You may be sure of one. <laughs> you may sh be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who felled Ifrit, I fear that you will nary a moment to yourself. Yeah, now we're famous. Great. That's not what we wanted. Whether she intended to or no, Minfili neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. It concerns the temperate abductees that were rescued. I'm sorry to report that all are but put to death. The flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, the information must not be known to the public. Fair enough. I swear to you that we would not do this if there were any other recourse. But once a man is tempered, he's tempered for life. His very existence lends strength to the primal whom he cannot choose but worship. And so we scions, scions continue our fight and no more innocents need to be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us, Nalia. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the losses his people suffered. Till next time. I give you a weird wave and then walk away. <laughs> okay. Gods forgive me, how many more lives? Louis Sue would never have allowed this to happen. I have to be better. I have to do better, I have to be stronger. Maybe next time just show up. That'd be good. But that's fine. Our quest is now completed. Uh, that's You can kind of tell why I didn't do this all in the last one, because that would have been a really long episode. So um, we're going to continue on. Let's talk to Minfilia. Uh, wearing a wry smile might have something to do with our newfound fame. Okay, yes. Oh, and we get a cutscene. Cool. Maybe I don't have to speak. 
I do. Okay. Until not very long ago, uh, you were one of many adventurers seeking to make their way in Eorzea. Sorry, I just had a yawn just hit me in the middle of nowhere. Just hang on a second. Ah, oh, forgive me. Ah, oh, my bad. Uh, wow. But for your character and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of Envoy. Thereafter, you traveled to the realm, abiding those who need uh, without thought of reward, confirming to Thancred that Scions would benefit from your aid. And no sooner had you joined us than you personally bested the primal Ifrit. Yeah, that's all accurate. You nailed it. You've achieved a great deal in a short time and won fame in doing so. Alas, alas, uh, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. Fantastic. We have guests, Nalia. Or rather, you have guests. Big pardons. Who are these guys? Look at their hats. They are weird hats. Radiant as always, Lady Mimphelia. Ah. I'm given to understand the signs of the Seventh Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero into their midst. I'm here on behalf of Maelstorm Strom, Grand Company of Limso Laminza, to offer said hero a place of honor within our ranks. As you can see, Nalia, your recent exploits have garnered you the attentions of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. To this end, all three have sent officers to court you. They would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit. That they have is evidence that they their high regard for you. I may find myself wondering how word of Nalia's deed spread so quickly that immortal flames should know her triumphs is to be expected, but what other grand companies? Eep! Your reputation precedes you, Mistress Hordemont. Uh, Tis no ordinary woman uh, can face a primal and emerge the victor. I need to change my last name. I do not like Hordemont. I need to f come up with a different one. Uh, the Order of the Twin Adder has need of valiant women such as you. Uh, join our strength to ours, friend, and together let us ensure that peace reigns over the Twelves Wood. What a pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Hordemont. Mistress Hordemont, my comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. Why, even before you aided us against the Amalja and their dread primal, yours already a respected name in Ulda. Our people know you and love you as well. Omen of your talents belong with the immortal flames. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us secure prosperous future for Ulda. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you would have the look of a hero. Full often does she speak of you, friend. Uh, it is only natural that we would want you for the maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limso Lominsa to the shores of glory. Can I join them all? Do I have to just join one? I don't understand. Lady Minphelia. Very well. Though I'm quite sure you need no reminding, mayhap a brief summary of the situation would help clarify your thoughts on this matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are all-encompassing organizations empowered to call upon martial, economic, and techno technological resources to their respective city-states in times of strife. There are plenty. There are pr presently three such organizations in Eorzea: the Maelstrom of Limso Lominza, the Order of the Twin Adder of Gradania, and the Immortal Flames of Ulda. Serving the Grand Company means serving the nation to which it belongs. 
you will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return for your faithful service, you'll be furnished with various rewards, some of which may well prove useful to you in other endeavors. If you're agonizing over which grand company best deserves your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make this day need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are entitled to do so. And yet, I can see that it is no small choice you face. Ah, a thought occurs to me. You, you will, of course, recall the three city-states are planning to hold a remembrance services. Well, uh, as part of the proceedings, I'm given to understand that the leader of the Grand Company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. You are as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well, let Nali hear a leader speak, then return here with her decision. Okay, so now we have to go see some things. Uh, we eagerly await your answer. Okay, so we're gonna have to hear all of the leaders speak and then we get to make a decision on who we're supposed to join. Um, hmm. I know full well that adventurers are by their very nature liberty loving breed and not best suited to be the discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you to join a grand company nonetheless. Uh, while the promise of reward is enticing, it itself is not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, uh, Nalia, and with it, you're capable of doing untold good. You know that great power is worth to attract attention, not all of it friendly. Uh, there will be those who wish you ill, and you must n and and you must needs be on the lookout for them. Yet, however vigilant you are, you are but one woman in the midst of a grand company. However, you will be one woman amongst many, a friend amongst friends. Your achievements will be shared, and so will the danger. I can think of no better arrangement. Of course, joining one organization need not mean leaving another i hope that we can continue to rely on your aid the 12 know that we will have need of it in the days ahead the grand companies seek to protect their own nations we scions on the other hand seek to preserve the future of eorzea as a whole similar yet not quite the same now then i expect that you will be a field more often in the future. As such, I would have you carry this link pearl with you at all times. It will allow you to stay in touch with us regardless of location. Eorzea is changing, Nalia. You have the power to help shape it anew. None can say what the morrow will bring, but so long as we believe in ourselves, there is not we cannot achieve. Now is the time for you. Uh, now it is time you made ready for your journey. But before you depart, be sure to speak with Tataru. Uh, she will apprise you of where and when the remembrance services are due to take place. Okay. Wow. Okay, that was a ton of reading. <laughs> um, the grand companies. Uh, crazy crazy amount of stuff to do that we have just um embarked on so let's let's talk to to taru and see what's up here um this is already going to be a long episode but let's let's get through to taru and then we might wrap up i know this hasn't been very exciting but i think a lot of this storyline is very important for us to follow so um clearly there's three grand companies that we have to consider and in the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, what some of those are because Tataru here is going to help us out. I, um, I, I'm sorry about all of the attention you're getting, Nalia. I might have sung your praises a little too loudly and often and 
to too many people. Um, next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue literally if necessary. Anyways, I expect you want to know where and when the Remembrance services are taking place. If all goes to plan, Gradandia's grand company, the Order of the Twin Adder, will hold the first of three services. The Elder Seed Seer, Khan E. Sena, will deliver her address at Mi Heto's Amphitheater. I should probably mention at this point that due to the organizational challenges involved in assembling all of the involved parties, it is possible that the order of the services might change. Still, there's not much we can do about that, so make Gridania your first port of call. Next, you'll need to go to Ulda, where Flame General Raban Aldin will be addressing the masses at the Royal Promenade. Oh, and it is rumored that there's to be a special guest. How exciting. Uh, maybe I'm the special guest. Who knows? Uh, but last, not least, uh, you'll make your way to the stateroom of Limsa Lominza, where Maelstrom Chief Admiral Merlewib Bay Blow Fieldswin <laughs> I'm sure I messed that up. We'll be giving her a dress. Oh, that's a woman. Okay. Uh, the room is accessible via the Admiral's lift. Identify yourself to the sentry, Xanthale, and he will admit you. Got all that? Well, off you go then. I hope to find the Remembrance Services suitably educational. I suggest visiting the city-states in my pre uh, pre-described prescribed order, though we'll... With your record of impeccable timing and luck, the schedule may well change in the favor of your preferred travel plans. Farewell. Okay. Well, friends, that's insane. We have so much to do. Look at, we have all these things to take care of. And um, wow, we've kind of run out of time. There was a, That was exhaustive reading for me. Um, I'm gonna need a drink and we're gonna relax a little bit and then I'm gonna get back to it and we're gonna go take a look at all of these in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. Take care and be well.